The Unified Banana Republic, or UBR, has tonight been plunged into political crisis following the sudden death of its enigmatic plantoid leader, President Chiquita. Chiquita died early this morning at the age of four days old, far below the usual life expectancy of six days for unrefrigerated bananoid species. The circumstances surrounding his death are still unclear, although he was known to suffer from chronic health problems, including premature ripening. His death now leaves significant uncertainty for the future of the Unified Banana Republic. With more on this story, we join Zanonian's political correspondent, Larb. Thanks, Unity. I'm floating gracefully here on PL Prime, capital planet of the Unified Banana Republic, a small space nation in the Outer Rim, home to some 135 plantoid pups. The announcement of Chiquita's death earlier today has sent political shockwaves across the cluster. And the mood here this evening is one of sadness and confusion following the loss of this beloved yet controversial political figure. Very little is known about the circumstances of Chiquita's death, although in a statement released this morning, enforcers confirmed that they aren't treating the death as suspicious. Many are speculating Chiquita may have succumbed to ill health after he was spotted at an official government ceremony yesterday covered in soft brown patches. Despite his death, Chiquita's legacy remains very much alive here on PL Prime. He's remembered for his instrumental role in declaring the inception of the galaxy's first literal banana republic three days ago, following a surprise military coup. He achieved this by expertly nurturing an ideological wave of pan-bananoidism, the so-called Bananarama movement, where he blamed long-standing economic woes on the planet's minority species, the tomatoids. He went on to gain galactic infamy after embarking on a series of brutal tomatoid purges across the planet in what is now dubbed as the Night of Red Mist. While Chiquita styled the unified Banana Republic as an inclusive democracy and managed to improve both economic output and bananoid pop happiness, the Galactic UN has long criticized the space nation for suspending elections and its abuses against minority tomatoids. Chiquita's death leaves a significant power vacuum within the bananoid political elite, with governors, scientists, and admirals now jostling for the leadership position. For now, the future of this young space nation hangs in the balance. Back to you in the studio, Unity. That report by political correspondent Larb. It's stories like these that really make you wonder why the Galactic UN classify plantoids as sentient at all. Up next, space weather. <laughs> <laughs> 